Hi, here is Klaas Nienhuis. I want to show you what I've been doing with the MapMax tool. In fact, I'm, I've been doing quite a lot. I've even renamed it to Map Room. Um, yeah, sounds better. And um, well, let's show you some basics, uh, uh, and that way you can see um, yeah, what this tool is capable of. Uh, let's create a new map. It's a map with uh, terrain data. It's empty at the moment. I've got some helpers in the scene. And uh, let's get the location. You don't have to type in the location yourself. You can search for it. Uh, let's look for... I think this should be... Yeah, this is a city in um, uh, Morocco. And uh, let's have a look. Mm, pick zoom level, and I can pick the source for my um, for the map here. I can use Bing, OpenStreetMap. There are quite a few others. Uh, let's start with um, MapQuest. That's good for uh, higher level uh, areas. So I'm going to update the map images. This means the script is downloading the map quest data and placing it in the scene. And it's done. Um, here it is. Uh, Benny Mellal. So the city is somewhere here. It's, it's quite low resolution. Uh, it's difficult to see. You have to watch out though if you are getting higher and higher resolution images um, the system has to download exponentially more um, I'm not sure how many images this is uh, at the moment let's let's have a look um, maybe a, a few images were downloaded but if I go one uh, zoom level higher the system has to download four times as much and one more level is four times as much and four and four so it the amount of images being downloaded uh, grows exponentially. But this is uh, this is nice. Um, let's add some terrain here because this is a, seems like a mountainous area. Let's add some terrain, and there is one source for terrains at the moment, SRTM3. I will add more, but I will probably add more uh, which are suitable for larger scale visualization. So if you want to have the entire globe or something like that. So it's downloading the images, converting it to a displacement map, a 16-bit displacement map uh, to keep it accurate and uh, adding it to the, to the mesh. So here we go. Nice terrain. The heights here should be uh, fairly accurate. Uh, you can of course exaggerate this if you want uh, to make a point. Um, you can also increase the density of the mesh. Uh, keep in mind that at a certain point it doesn't make sense to add more uh, subdivisions because the displacement map just isn't uh, no, uh, sharp enough. So here we go, nice simple terrain in a couple of minutes. Yeah, you can imagine this will work for any part of the globe. Okay, well, keep in mind, map room coming uh, as a beta uh, soon.